So, today is July 15th, 2017, just off into the garden. Haven't been here for a few days, see how things are coming along. And this is my little Eden here. This is where I find peace and tranquility. I actually like spending time here. It's quiet, productive. Could think of a lot worse things to be doing. And there's Merlin, and this is it. Started gardening here last year. It was a soccer field, as you can tell by the goalposts that are still up. But uh, last year was the first year that they turned it into a garden. And things are looking good here. These are the peas. They put uh, sugar snap in this year. As you can see, they grow quite tall. Last time I was here, they were just flowering with some skinny pods on them, but I see they're starting to fill out, ready for picking. I put these in uh, middle of May, basically the first planting, everything middle of May. This was the second planting of peas. I like to stagger them out just so everything's not ready at the same time. Because peas, you only get maybe uh, three good pickings and then they're done. So this way, when those are done, these should be ready to go. Beans, I like to do the same thing with the beans. I stagger my plantings out once again, middle of May, and then three weeks later. I see I have to uh, thin these out a little more. I'm gonna pull every other plant out. I like to give them lots of room. The more room they have, the bigger they grow. The bigger they grow, the more beans you get. So everything seems to be doing all right. As you can see, I uh, like to put grass down between the rows. It helps keep the weeds down. Because the first year weeds were a battle, man. Holy shit, let me tell you. You know, thistles like crazy. You can never stop those. They'll punch through anything. But uh, I find that the grass keeps all the smaller weeds down. And here's the potatoes. This year I planted them in straw. Always wanted to try it. So I figured, what the hell, went ahead and did it. And so far I'm impressed. Uh, basically to plant in straw all you do is put your seed potato on the ground six inch layer of straw once the greens poke through they're six inches high another layer of straw repeat that process two more times and then just let her go and this is the end result they've been flowering now for uh, shit going on a couple weeks and I'm kind of curious to see what's down here so let's have a little look now this is supposed to be the easy part here no digging. All you have to do is move the straw away and see what you got there. And lo and behold, look at that. There's a little potato and a couple more. Perfect size baby potato. Now I'm sure if I go through here, I'll find enough for a pot and that's what I'm having for supper tonight. Throw in a little dill and away you go. And these are the carrots. I, uh, a lot of people just plant long, straight rows of carrots. I, I guess I'm lazy, I don't know. I just prep it the width of a rake, 14 inches. Johnny Appleseed, just sow your seeds in, cover it with a quarter inch of compost and let her go. And they seem to be doing all right. I plant my dill in with the carrots just to save space and seems to work so far. And here's the cucumbers. As you can see, I like to trellis them uh, for two reasons. One is it's a space saver. If I was just to let them vine out on the ground, you need about six feet on either side of the row. So when you're confined to a smaller space such as this, I think this is the way to go. And secondly, by keeping them off the ground, then the plants aren't susceptible to like the mold, fungus, and mildew that's associated with growing cucumbers on the ground. Um, and what I started doing last year through trial and error and learning from your mistakes is I started pruning them. And by that, see if I can find an example here. I started uh, pinching off the vines before they get out of control. Where is one? Oh, come on, as you can see, I've been staying on top of it. Can hardly find one. Oh, here's an example. So out of every, uh, this is a node where you got a leaf branching off from the main vine, that's a node. Out of every node, there's a tendril, a little cucumber, 
and another vine. So what I go and do is I just pinch off the vine and that prevents it from uh, branching out and just turning into a spider web, a mass of vegetation. Because once again, by pruning this, you put all the growing energy into the fruit themselves. Because all this excess greenery is just a waste of growing energy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them get about halfway up the trellis here, which is about uh, three feet or so. And then I'm going to let one or two branch off out of every uh, individual plant. So each plant will have maybe three or four vines tops. Easier to maintain. And uh, from what I've read and understand is then you get a, a higher yield out of the existing cucumbers that are there. So these, you know, they're not even two feet tall yet. And as you can see, they're flowering already. And there's a little cuke right there. And there's another one. And there's another one. Because last year I didn't do that. And it was just a mess. There was, they were all over the place. And uh, mind you, I got a pretty good yield out of it. But this way, it's just a little more controlled. So hopefully I can stay on top of that. It requires steady maintenance. If you're not here every three days doing it, it just gets out of control. And here's another one. Same thing. Just pinch off that vine. Leave the tendril and the cucumber. And away it goes. And I stagger planted my cucumbers too. Didn't really have to, but that's just the way it turned out. And as you can see, I like using uh, grass clippings as mulch. It uh, retains a lot of the moisture. We've been lucky enough to have a lot of rain this year, the perfect amount of rain and sunshine, but lately it hasn't been raining so much. So this way, I put some grass clippings down and the soil is damp. So just every once in a while, I hit them with some fertilizer. And speaking of which, I've already side dressed them with uh, blood meal, which is basically nitrogen. <coughs> Cucumbers are heavy nitrogen feeders. So every couple times a year, you should side dress them with uh, blood meal. And not only that, it keeps the rabbits away. Rabbits can't stand the smell of blood. So that works twofold. <laughs> And here's the corn. I planted two varieties this year. I got uh, peaches and cream, and these are just your typical yellow butter gold. This is doing all right. I've already side dressed everything with nitrogen. Uh, put blood meal in, give it a good shot of nitrogen. Corn is basically big grass, so all it needs is nitrogen. And what I also like to do, I started doing this last year, is uh, cutting the suckers off these uh, secondary stalks here are useless. They will never ever produce a cob and all they do is take up vital growing energy. So I like to cut these off and then all your growing energy goes into the main stalk because that is what will produce the corn. I started doing that last year and I found it worked like a dam. So I'm going to continue doing that. Here I got a couple zucchini plants. Holy shit would you look at that one. Four days ago, that wasn't even ready for picking. Now here it is. It's a monster. Gonna have to do something with that. Can't let it go to waste. And here is my lettuces. I put uh, five different varieties in. Got your uh, leaf lettuce, romaine. There was spinach here, but it bolted already. It's done. <coughs> Swiss chard, kale, which didn't come up the first time, so I did have to put a second planting in. This is going to be late. And uh, beets. I planted these not so much for the beets, but for the tops. Mix that in with a the salad. They're kind of bitter, but you choke it down anyways. It's supposed to be good for you. Here's the uh, second planting of spinach that I put in. And a couple other things too that I can't remember what's what. Should really pay more attention, I guess. These are the tomatoes. Uh, what the hell is this? Cobra. This is a bush variety that doesn't require pruning. This is Primo Red, and you're supposed to prune these, eh? But, uh... And, uh... Fuck, I suck at this.